All right, folks. And so this is my next installment is, is this racist? And this time we're featuring Shy LaBeouf. I, that, that dude, the actor dude, he was in Transformers. I know he was in other movies. That's the only one that I remember him from. Honestly, I know that he's a real big deal to some of y'all. And so I'm not being, dis I'm trying to not be disrespectful at all in this. It's just dude got caught in a heavy situation. And so then let's talk about the, the, the racist rules, right? It's like, um, one, was there a historically oppressive word or stereotype that was, that was used uh, in the space, right? Uh, two, uh, was it meant to limit, uh, dismiss, or dehumanize an entire group of people? And three, uh, can you link what was said or done to statistically demonstrable patterns of discrimination, right? And so those are our three things. And so now the case is with Shia LaBeouf, right? Um, and so, oh man, surveillance footage, he, dude got caught. Uh, he was arrested uh, for a drunken disorderly or something like that. Uh, he was intoxicated in public. And surveillance footage uh, was released by TMZ, and it showed uh, Shy in uh, the police station. Uh, this is not a good look. I'm just gonna tell you. There was two officers, one black, one white, and um, and they were you know talking to him, and they were you know, and the the cameras were, were filming, and so the camera catches him uh, saying um, uh, that Shy tells the officer that what he did was savage, right? And the, the and this was the black police officer, and the black police officer was like, uh, "Why you say that was savage?" And and, and LaBeouf, um, he responds, "Because you're a black man." Okay, look, that's racist. Period. Point blank. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's it. We're done. <laughs> In regards to going through three rules uh, and all of this is like that. Is racist. Now, here's some other things that happened in this in this space that I don't think of them as racist, but that right is like calling a black person savage. That is connected to historically demonstrable patterns of discrimination. This, that, and the other thing. But here's some other stuff that he said. Um, he said that the 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 that the police officer was racist because they're arresting a white person um, in a in a city that has nothing to do with 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 none of you or something like that. And so I'm like, okay, that's just gibberish right there um telling a white officer that he should be ashamed because his wife probably watches porn with black dick that's racist as hell too okay now here's the deal a white woman with a black dude that's not racist the idea that a black that a white man is supposed to feel some type of shame or that white people are supposed to feel some type of shame being with black people that's racist as hell that is white supremacy at its at its core okay and so that's what's that's a look feel free watch all the porn you want i can give a rat's ass that's not what i'm talking about but the idea that he is supposed to be ashamed of of watching of seeing you know his wife um, being you know infatuated with black people, black males and their penises, whatever, that's racist, okay? And then this last one, um, uh, that that Shy goes off, he's like, um, you got a president that doesn't give a shit about you, and now you, you know, and now you're gonna try to stick it to me and arrest me when I'm the only white person out there that that's that gives a shit about folks. And I'm like, okay, again, I would just categorize that as drunk, drunken gibberish. Um, and whatnot, intoxication, that was that that was happening there. And so then there's two clear spaces where I would argue he has used racist imagery. And so therefore what he said in t at least two of these instances are is definitely racist. Now here's the deal. Remember my other question is, is this person, is shy racist? And I'm gonna say no. Here's the reason why. It's because dude came out with a quick and sincere apology about all of this stuff. When he he comes out, he was like, I'm deeply ashamed of my behavior and make no excuses for it. The severity of my behavior is not lost on me, right? He also said that he's struggling with an addiction uh, publicly for far too long, and he is uh, actively taking steps in securing his sobriety, um, and he hope he can be forgiven for these mistakes. Look, player, I forgive you, straight up. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm not trying to say this to, to appease any audience because I don't have to say anything to appease any audiences. I accept his apology. I want to see what happens on the other side of this. I would also be, look, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I am questioning the fact that you know about all these racist stereotypes and all of this stuff and how, and how fast they came out of your mouth. But that's something for another day, another time. But right now, I'm accepting your apology. Um, and that's just me personally. Now, I'm not speaking for all black people. <laughs> I'm just talking about me. And so uh, I accept it. It was quick. It was sincere. Um, and I believe you when you say that, right? And so 
Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. Um, if you like what you're hearing, feel free to subscribe and share. And check me out at BruceHoskins.com uh, if you want to learn about more about uh, learn more about me and what I do. Peace, y'all.